On the University Libraries website, you will find the information about how you can publish in Diva. Publish in Diva. If you wish to publish a student thesis, you will find the necessary information under the headings Instructions for Students and Frequently Asked Questions. If you need help, you are always welcome to contact us by telephone, email or by visiting the library. All contact information can be found under Contact Us. Your publication should be uploaded to Diva as a document in PDF format. You can convert your publication from Word format to PDF on one of the library's computers, but there are also many free applications that can easily convert files. You can find examples of such applications under Frequently Asked Questions. And when you want to publish your thesis, you have to log in. Here you have to log in with your university username and password. If your account no longer works, please contact the IT support. They can activate your account for one week so that you can upload your publication. Another problem might be that your account may have too low security level. In order to upgrade your security level, you have to show your ID to the IT department. You can either visit them or send them a copy of your ID by mail. If that doesn't work, please contact us at the library and we, and we will help you. And now we have been logged in. So start with change language. Through the whole registration, you can always move the cursor over the red question mark and you will have more information on each part in the registration. The next step is select publication type and student thesis are pre-selected, so just click on continue. In this demonstration, I will be a business student who wishes to register my student thesis. And first, I enter my surname, my first name, and my username. After that, I have to select department which I belong to. Choose organization. Select your department either by searching by name or by browsing through the list. Fill in the name. Click search and uh, choose Department of Organization and Entrepreneurship. If you have selected wrongly and wish, wish to remove the, the result, just click on the red cross and start again with choose organization. If you wish to find your department by using the browse function, just click on the plus symbol Click on School of Business and Economics and Department of Organization and Entrepreneurship. Here in this part of the registration, you can enter your email address and later on two messages will be sent to you. First an acknowledgement that the thesis has been sent to Diva and then a second one when it has been published in Diva. And if your thesis has several authors, you click on another author and fill in the details. If your thesis work has been carried out in cooperation with a company, health authority, municipality, etc., please tick in the box External Cooperation and fill in the name of the external partner, in this case Seaside Hotel. Now you have to fill in your name of your, of your thesis, main title or a subtitle if you have one, then choose language, English. If you have an alternative title for your thesis, for example in Swedish or another language, write it here, otherwise skip alternative title. The next step in the registration process deals with your examination. Choose thesis level. And if you are unsure of this, ask your supervisor, your department, or check your syllabus. In this case, I fill in independent thesis, advanced level, and how many credits the thesis is worth, 30 HI credits. 
And now you can choose either to fill in both educational program and subject course, but it is usually accepted to fill in just one of them. I'll take educational program and look for leadership and management. Next step, content category and tick in the box for artistic work if it applies to your work. Fill in the year your thesis was completed and the last numbered page of the thesis and then you skip the parts series, other series and identifiers. The next step in the registration is to select the natural subject category that best applies to your thesis. Click in the box and you will have uh, two alternatives. Select browse Browse, click on the symbol for, for social sciences, click on this economics and business, and business administration. Now we can move on to keywords. Fill in your keywords and separate them by commas. And select language for your keywords. And if you have keywords in a different language, click on keywords in another language. Skip part of the project and move on to the part where you should enter your abstract. When you have come to abstract, here you can write or paste in your abstract. And choose language for your abstract, English. Now you have came to the part where you shall fill in the surname and first name of your supervisor and which department he she belongs to. Pettersson, Hans and the organization. And do the same for the examiner. Last name, first name and name of the organization. Skip the rest of the form and click continue. You have now come to upload files. Diva is our thesis archive and this means that all theses must not only be registered, they must also be uploaded in full text in PDF format. If you have worked with a company that does not wish the thesis to be freely searchable on the net or for some other reason cannot allow the work to be freely available, you can select the option only archive. To upload your file, click on browse, find your file and select it, click on open and then click on upload. You can always remove a file by clicking on the red cross. Now the file has been uploaded, but before you can proceed, you must approve the terms of publication, the publishing condi conditions. To read those terms, click on the publishing conditions, read, close the paper and approve them by clicking the box. Move on by clicking continue. You can save your work with the registration at any point in the process by clicking cancel or save draft. Save. And you can find your save draft later under my drafts. And then you can continue your registration progress again. Click on the title and continue. When you are finished and have checked that everything is included, you can submit your thesis by clicking submit. Once you have submitted your thesis, you cannot make any further changes. Now you will receive an automatic email acknowledgement that Eva has received your thesis if you have previously provided an email address under the registration. 
An administrator in your department will approve and publish the thesis, and so it can take some time before you can find your work in DIVA. And if you have questions about the publication process, please contact your department, and you will find the contact information here. When your thesis is published, you will be able to search for your thesis in DIVA. Click on search and search for it.